turn into more hills, but hopefully we're almost done with this hill. I don't have, I don't have too much left this, at this grade. Those few short breaks give your legs a little bit of energy. I don't know if it's efficient to give yourself 30 seconds or to keep going, but it does seem to give you a little bit more life. street sign. Some bitch. Well, doesn't look like that hairpin turn was the end of it after all. See the end. Okay. So the second half was definitely harder, no question about it. First half is up, but it's not even steep. So you have more little narrow on there flat paths catch your breath back half is you just have to stop either you stop or you just don't you don't catch your breath it's fun it's beautiful it's gonna be tough and we'll see how long it takes me to get down because I think the rest of the race is pretty much downhill where am I? I'm at mile 46, so I've got 10 left. So maybe there's still some hills, I don't know. But hopefully it's down enough that you get some rest before the run. I couldn't imagine doing a run right now. My legs are very tired. You're going to need to train harder for this than... Eagle, man. Hills, 
run uphill on treadmill. That's one of the things the guy told me. So I should put an incline on the treadmill and run up it. I can see how that would help. You just gotta get some hills though. I don't know how. Particularly since most of this training is gonna come between January and you know April, whatever it is. Pretty scenery though. Some big old, I don't know if those were petrified dunes, I guess they are. But, looks like, I think I've driven this road right here before, so I know I'm downhill for a little bit. Boy, that was it. That was so canyon.